Hello, welcome to the In General Podcast, episode 91. This is a very special episode, better than the last episode, because we are joined the one by the only. wonderful and Christopher the incredible Pugh. Chris Pugh. <laughs> so, uh, the one and great hair, by the way. I and love the, the hair, returning, very long. Returning from the depths of... Mattel. Canadian military. A C yeah. Santu. I'm it's, back, boys and girls. I'm back. It, it's here. I'm back. The one and only. The legend. I survived. I've survived. Yes, the man, the I've legend. survived. Um, yeah, what, what have you been up to? Uh, lots of stuff, man. Lots of stuff. But you know what? I'm better for it. Yeah? I say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I survived the uh, uh, the training system. I'm, uh, I'm, an, I'm an adult again. I'm a big boy again? now. Again? Was there a time that you were and then you weren't and then now you are again? Yeah. <laughs> So when you join the like, army, you're not an adult anymore until you are. And now they, yeah, they broke you, they broke you down and then they built you back up. And now we pretty have much, that. man, pretty pretty much. And now we have him back, now. and we're going to break him down on this pod, and then we're going to build him back up in the next one. So in a couple of weeks. But um, yeah, exciting. It's been too long, man. Dude, I I'm so nervous for this. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. Don't don't it's screw weird. it up. I mean, there's a lot of high expectations. People have been waiting for a this moment. A lot of pressure, yeah, man. There's a lot a ton, of pressure. People, ton of pressure. People, pressure pressure people. people that put in, put last in the comments if you're excited to hear my voice again. Put in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> if you're not, don't say it. So yeah, very yeah, fragile ego. Uh, uh, only only say it if you're if you're if you're. <laughs> yeah. Um, no bad, we always no get that comments. one down vote from that specific person anyway. Yeah, so there's literally somebody that like downvotes or video like they're Every subscribed to us i guess because like as soon it's, as one of our videos me. go up it's like three seconds in downvoted we're like yeah who is this it's, person it's close it's obviously somebody with a, a vendetta an agenda they, they can't quit us a sad little <laughs> man <laughs> no i don't know it might yes, not be me. the same person but it really is funny because it's like always like right at the same time it's like usually about a half hour after it goes up but yeah anyway um that person i wouldn't take that down but no 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 Assis, don't take that personally it's not about you man it's not about unless you. it is but people i mean if it is it, it might be it might be you know maybe know. the down votes we're getting down votes because you're not in the content that's it's the so lack now, of a cease content this pod's gonna have zero <laughs> zero <laughs> down votes <laughs> um but shit you came out of the army you actually quit the army in order to talk about jurassic park 3 that's what i heard yeah <laughs> Can you imagine? Absent without leave right now. <laughs> yeah, my fucking officer's like, yeah, you you want you want to talk about Jurassic Park 3, you got to leave the entire Canadian army. <laughs> You're like, I'm like you know what? It's fine. It's worth it. It's the I have my priorities. Right? <laughs> um, but it is... <laughs> I just got promoted. Would... Fuck it. <laughs> it is the month of Jurassic Park 3, right? It's July. And it's that a beautiful the, month. It is the release date. still July. The Yeah, the release date. Was it July 18th? July 18th, uh, yeah, or if you Universal like Studios, 18, July 16th, yeah. that's what Google it, says when you I, search it. It's funny how they get the dates wrong for, like, all of the Jurassic Park movies constantly. Know, it's because so, the it's Goog- they just Google it. They just Google, like, Jurassic Park free release date, <laughs> and it tells you the premiere date, and they're like, okay, it's the 16th. I love that. It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, in Malaysia on the 15th. I guess 15th? Let's go with 15th. <laughs> 15th. Happy anniversary. Yeah. yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. <laughs> so... There's, uh, you know, there's been a lot uh, happening with Jurassic Park three as well. Yeah. Yes, there has been. What's been yes, happening? There I don't has know. Been. Well, uh, that, was, that, that was that was that was a segue. You know, you're, I mean, you're supposed I to. I love take the it. love. I love the love, man. I'm seeing the love on the on the twitters and the uh, even the official account now. I'm seeing it's, all that. Do you, JP3 do you love. find it's changing? Yeah, it's, it's turning, it's dude. The order of the people prequels, are turning man. on JP three. It's like finally. No, I the party. I still don't realize all those years ago that Assis was right. Mm. Finally, <laughs> I'm not going to go that far. I still don't like it. I just like it more than Fallen Kingdom. Um, that's not hard though. Pretty much every movie that's ever been made ever is better than Fallen um, Kingdom, so it's, but, it's not a challenge. Um, not a challenge. I mean, Jurassic Park three. It's it is what it is. It's unapologetically unapo- simple, and it doesn't aim to be anything else. So I can't hate it for that. You know what I mean? Like it just doesn't really do much, but. It has a lot of cool sequences, a lot of cool dinosaurs. Um, the dinosaurs are really fucking cool. Um, and, yeah. The raptors are the best in the franchise. How Get out of town, dude. All you said, Chris, was literally 
like, oh, it's it's okay, but like here's all the good things about it, and I spent like <laughs> ten seconds. Oh, it's dinosaurs are super cool. You love dinosaurs too, by the way. Uh, I mean, so, the JP three Raptors are the coolest Raptors in the franchise. Best in the franchise. Um, I'm saying it. Best design. I think that they're the. I mean, I love the original Jurassic Park Raptors, and I do love the the sequence of the long grass in the Lost World and like the vill- village afterwards. There's something about the way those Raptors move and everything that like they're. I'm not a big fan of the Tiger Raptors, but that just comes down to the fact that I think the animatronics look very fake. Um, as opposed to the JP1 Raptor, which it looked very organic, or the JP3 Raptors, which look very organic. The Tiger Raptor animatronics, they're like, they look like painted rubber. Like, there's not a lot of fine, minute detail. On the flip side, the ILM Tiger Raptors look a lot better than the animatronic. I know that's weird, because I'm normally like, animatronics, hell yeah, but I don't know. Anyhow, JP3 What's Raptors. What's happened? I've been gone for a little bit. Chris is all about CGI now. What's going on no, here? No, I know. No. No. He's, Chris has been indoctrinated by the Jurassic World crew. And the, uh, you know, you know the sort of like fad around that. Um, uh, uh, everybody else has gone the other way. JP three is just elevated, but genuinely, I, I think we've, we're two movies into the Jurassic World franchise now, and I think people are uh, going back to the original trilogy and finding things that they actually love about it. Jurassic Park three has so much. It's not a perfect movie, but it has so much going for it that the more you watch it as a Jurassic fan, the more I find I'm like, I I, I really do love this movie. It's it's like everybody used to say, ninety minutes of Jurassic I, and it doesn't it's it, like Chris said before it's non-apologetic it just does it it, it just goes for it and then it kind of just ends that's my only d- one of <laughs> one of the thoughts is that the ending isn't really there, there's like really no maybe. ending but I, I still feel like it feels a little bit like a campy B monster movie wearing the skin of a Jurassic Park film like it just doesn't feel like like some of this like there's a lot of Jurassic Park sequences but it just doesn't feel like Jurassic Park um, it feels more Excuse like it can't be playful. Excuse you, 100% it does. I think it feels like it Jurassic, feels very Park Jurassic Park more than the two new ones. Uh, I would say does. Jurassic 100%. World fi- feels more like Jurassic Park than Jurassic Park 3. No way, um, dude. Complete no way. I would say Get Fallen Kingdom. Kingdom. Abs- I would say JP3 is a lot better than Fallen uh, and it handles it a lot more than like Fallen <laughs> Kingdom does. So, you know, it's a nuanced thing. Um, like Season 1 and Season 3 of Camp Cretaceous, they're great. Season 2, not so hot. Um yeah. Oh, dude, I I want to talk about Camp Cretaceous, man. Yeah, That's something there's I want to talk so about. much that we need to talk about because it's been God so long damn, since we dude. have talked about Jurassic. Assis, how much have you seen of Camp Have you seen all three? I've seen all of it, man. I fucking love the show, dude. It's really cool. Yeah, it is. It's, it's really surprisingly cool. good. It's surprisingly yeah, I love good for it, a man. kid's show. It's shockingly like, great. Um, yeah. yeah. Like, Especially season seasons great. one and three. Yeah. Season was two excellent. was like this weird... Di- that was like the Fallen Kingdom of Camp Cretaceous. No, it really no, man. I like season two as well, man. I like season two, but season three is, I think, my favorite one. That, that yeah. whole Kenji storyline where like, he's like, oh, you sacrifice friends? I don't do that. I'm like, holy shit, this guy's fucking growing as a dude? Yeah, like, he's, he's shit. growing as a character, and it's really funny because it's one of those things that when I was watching it as a viewer, I'm like, what are they doing? This is so dumb. And then the show acknowledges it, and like through Kenji's character, I'm like, whoa, he grew as a character, and also yeah. the yeah, show man. entirely knew what these kids were acting like they're acting like well they're kind of acting like, like, immature, dumb, like, dumb kids. like and the show acknowledges it and actually amazing. brings it as part of the plot and pushes the story forward with that and i think that's really cool um i thought that, that i love it i love it it wasn't trying to make these Fantastic. kids like superheroes and saving the day like the show calls it out like no you're not the heroes We're, we should just be trying to survive and uh yeah no i'm excited and so where do you think it's gonna go next season four i really don't know man i don't know like that whole like door thing like for what's been worth, for the past two years, I've been out of the fr- franchise and, like, I'm not been, like, paying attention because I've been busy with, like, the training and shit and the army stuff. So when I saw, like, that, uh, the whole thing with the, uh, the knock-knock at the door, I'm like, I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I literally do not know what's behind the door. Is it a dude? Is it a dinosaur? I, I have I, no idea where it's going. That's so funny. Although it plays a dinosaur sound, there was a part of me is like, is it one of like the mercenaries? Because there are a few mercenaries that imply like they might have died, but like we don't really see what happens to them and they absolutely could have lived. The one dude down the river um, and then the helicopter oh, yeah. pilot. Um, yeah, the pilot. I thought it was a pilot initially. I was like, oh, it's a pilot chick. She survived the thing. So that's what I thought initially. My yeah, she could have made her way to the boat and then just be like, she hears the hears the noise of all these kids being irritating, and she oh bangs on the it, door like, open the fucking door like it, with the last it, bit of strength she has. Did, did the uh, shit from season two? Uh, fucking what's her name? The the lady, uh, the bad lady girl from the season. Oh, two. Mitch and Ted Claire, survive. Claire Daring, yeah, yeah. Could that be her? It, I guess yeah. it could be Tiff. Um, that would be weird because like they were right. on that boat and I'm pretty sure Kenji was in that room before. 
I want to say earlier um, in the season, Kenji, that's where he got all the, the party, like the fireworks and stuff oh, like the hat that. and shit? Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm not, I don't know. I feel like it's going to be a dinosaur. To be honest with you, I kind of feel like it's going to be a baby Scorpius Rex. <laughs> Ugh, I hope not. Uh, yeah, you know what? The Scorpius, though, for what it's worth, it's the first time that they, I, it validated the concept of a hybrid, if that makes sense. Like, at least they try... With all the other hybrids, they basically just try to make them dinosaurs. I mean, they're acting ridiculous and on murder sprees, but like they were just sort of dinosaurs. The Scorpius Rex is the first time where it's like, if you're going to make fake dinosaurs, then do something, you know, fake creatures, then actually do okay. something that yeah. I, I appreciated that it was different. It didn't just, it wasn't just a made up dinosaur. Like, because when they do just a made up dinosaur, it's like, well, why isn't it just like, why is the Indominus Rex an Indominus Rex? Why is it just not a Giganotosaurus that like had some genetic modifying or things like that? Um, but the Scorpius, I you can't go like, why is this not a dinosaur? Because it couldn't be a real dinosaur. Like everything about it is so mm. intrinsic, like structurally built on being a hybrid. And I think that's cool, and it pushed the plot forward. Yeah, I agree with that. Sure. Um, yeah, it's interesting though. It could be Tiff on the boat. I, I hadn't actually thought of that. Like there is every possibility because it's her boat, and she was the last person on it, right? Well, no, we never saw her die. Well, what's we never saw her die, but we saw two baryonics being like, "What's up? I'm gonna kill you." What's really interesting <laughs> is when uh, season three ended, some of the writers posted pictures and stuff and on their their whiteboards and you could see stuff from season two and whatnot. And uh, originally Mitch and Tiff had a much larger storyline. They had. Well, if you're hiring fucking what's his well, name? Well, they they were um, they were uh, Biosyn spies or Manticore spies or whatever. Um, and they were going in for the Scorpius Manticore. and they weren't like poachers or whatnot like their entire goal was trying to get the scorpius and they had ties to like the outside and they're gonna have ties to like other characters and it was gonna like it was gonna be like a larger more involved plot but then season two just went nowhere my theory is is colin keeps talking about how the show intersects with um jurassic world dominion my theory is they had to change season two because they didn't want Dominion plot points to happen so early because the movie got pushed back. Because like originally season two would have come out and like Dominion would be oh. out in four or five months. But I think they scrubbed some of the Dominion stuff out of season two and three and pushed the season four and five, which, you know, season four is going to come this December. And that's a few months. That's like right when the marketing blitz for Dominion starts. So it makes sense. I think that we're going to start seeing all those it elements. It makes sense. And it, it kind of aligns like season two felt like it was missing stuff. It, yeah. You couldn't pinpoint what, but it just felt less uh, like fleshed out than season one. And then obviously season three felt more fleshed out again. So it is kind of like that was the odd season that they, I guess they scrambled to piece together to still meet Netflix release dates and things like that. Yeah. Um, but what a fun show for something that is the intended audience is children like it it's, is actually a lot of fun and season three uh, season two like me and chris watched it and both like <laughs> like i can't i can't like yeah do I, anything for this i was as so soon worried as I watched season three i was so in i watched yeah. it twice like in a row yeah um, just uh, was like yeah this is good jurassic good. content it's not it's not exactly what i want but it's like it's good and it's filling the gaps and it's helping um dude I, stop I, that like four year gap between movies where nothing happens dude it, i didn't think i wanted this like just jurassic world content like this oh what happens if someone got left behind but dude i want this this, yeah. is, this is really cool it's not i love this idea it's not quite like as elevated as something like star wars clone wars um or star wars rebels i, I don't think it's quite like on that level I would say it's better than rebels man i'm gonna say it. i mm. hate rebels this is rebels this is actual I, content i care about man to be fair, the first season and a half of Rebels is pretty rough, and it eventually found its footing. What, but what I will say is, Rebels at the very least had like a story, and it felt very important, to, for lack of better words. Where Camp Cretaceous feels very um like standalone in a lot of ways. Like I would like a more complex story, and I think we're starting to get there. I mean, we're definitely getting character growth, which I really appreciate. But I would like to see, you know, obviously Clone Wars. It's super long. There's a lot of standalone episodes that like don't go anywhere. But like when it's good it's like really well-made TV. And I don't think Camp Cretaceous is 100% there. It's not It's not at the best of animation, but it's definitely pretty good. Um, so what I like about Camp Cretaceous compared to like Star Wars, like a Star Wars Rebel type thing is like Star Wars Rebels, it exists in the time frame that we kind of have an idea of. But like for Jurassic World and like between Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, this entire time frame is kind of left like unexplored and like we don't really know what's going on. So like all this stuff, the exploratory aspect of it, is what I like the most about the show. I 
the, the thing that I would what, prefer... That's my thing, at least. Yeah, no, I get you. I definitely agree there, actually. The thing that I would prefer is having more adult characters and adult perspectives that are maybe more tied to Engine, Mizrani, okay. sure. Manticore, Bios, and things that actually push, like, the, the like important things forward from the perspective of also, like, P- I want the perspective of characters that have things to offer me as a viewer that I just wouldn't know. Like, the kids are kind of, like, they're at the same level as us as a viewer of what they know. And I would just like to have a type of character that is familiar, like they could tell us things and like be like, oh, yeah, I worked with the blah, 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 you know, vet like a Jurassic World veterinarian would be a really interesting type of character or like a Jurassic mm-hmm. World security officer, ACU. Um, I don't know. You know, it's just like one of those things like that's where I think they're maybe missing a trick. Um, There's still more that they can pull from from the movies as well. E- even like the people that Mills knew, obviously, there's. You know, people believe that Manticore and Mills. Actually, no. Season three confirmed that, right? Um, so Doctor no, Who and I Mills. Don't, I don't think they're Manticore. Mills was their boss. Yeah, yeah. Mills and is that was that goes way back to the Fallen Kingdom opening scene, yeah. which is where season three obviously aligned with. And so Mills is involved, but yeah, there's so many characters in the Jurassic World movies and storylines and different things that they could pull into. But season four. They're off Nublar now. They've they've left. Definitely go into Nublar. Sorna. Definitely so go into Sorna. They've got is that to be confirmed? Going. Like, is that like it's, a guess or like? It's not confirmed, but like I can guarantee. Like, I mean, I can like ninety nine. Chris is making a guarantee for the fans. I'm making a guarantee that I can't guarantee, <laughs> but I'm like I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure it's going to be Sorna. I mean, think about Why? it. Why? What what makes you say that though? Well, we're. I mean, well, they, they when wanna, I saw the end of the season, I didn't think. Oh, they're going to Sorna. I thought they're like, okay, cool. They're going to go back to the mainland. There's oh, going to be some. Story okay, well, thing a few there. things. A few things. There's a lot of Sorna love happening um, from Jurassic. That's just like fan France. stuff, in my opinion. That's just like fan well, things. Like, oh, okay. So the, the the first picture that Colin Trevorrow released through Jurassic Outpost of Jurassic World Dominion was a crate Exclusive. that said Isla Sorna uh, on it. Um, on yeah. top of that. We're seeing a lot of JP3 and but Sorna just animals. Just to jump in, sorry, that Isla Sorna crate could very well be like when Colin shared the picture of the East Dock sign for fucking both movies. <laughs> <laughs> it never ended up in the movie. Oh, absolutely. It could probably, be the crate. It's probably a background prop, but all the same, Sorna is like obviously something, there's something there. We're hearing that the show is going to have more and more ties to D- Dominion. I think the show's going to want to go forward and not backwards, so, <clears throat> but they're going to want to have a reason for these kids to still be stranded and with dinosaurs. So the five deaths in Sorna yeah. is basically the only way to really take it that that could happen. Um, There's going to be a... Bl- I think I feel like it's going to open with them on the ship and they see land. Maybe they wake up and it's there's a bit rougher seas or something and they kind of see, oh shit, there's like yeah. a, a beach. You know, we're going to head to that. Boom. Not realizing... It's easy to sauna. It's, and it would be cool if they ended up, if it was like they end up on the trespasser beach well, and there's like remnants. That'd be cool. That's hell, what I man, fully that'd expect. Really cool. I've, story. I fully expect uh, episode one to be like, we made it. All right, let's go find a road. Let's, you know, we're in Costa Rica. Let's go find a village. Let's like, you find Monorail. a road. They're following the road, yeah. blah, blah, blah. They're like, okay, just a little further. They don't see any dinosaurs. And then they come like onto the embryotics administration, see like Injin, like Isla Sorna. And they're like, what the hell? You know, that's really what I expected to do. Um, and yeah, no, I mean, I think that like things like the Amber Collection getting so many JP3 dinosaurs is not necessarily unrelated. I mean, I sent a picture here in the chat. Collect Jurassic just shared that with me. Um, those plushies. There's a uh, Lost World yes. Pteranodon plushie. Um, again, another very, very obscure. That's really surprising and weird to see that coming from Mattel suddenly. So I don't know. Are you sure that's not the Geostone it, version? I, it's probably, to be honest with you, the because what? it's stylized, you can't tell. But it probably oh, is. At least the Geo Stone Bergia. It will probably what is because that's hell what is that. That's remember <laughs> how um in you know yeah, is that how you say it, Chris? I, I think Geo- it's Geo Sternbergia, I think. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce dinosaur names. I read them. I never like actually. Well, oh, is a dinosaur name? Um, well, it's a Tyrannodon. Uh, it's flying a reptile. Cool flying reptile company, crown, like, what, what company is this? Um, that uh, so. <laughs> Geostrombergia, do you remember in the Lost World how the Lost World Pteranodon, um, in the concept designs, it had like a slightly different look? Like it had like a short neck. He's a fluffy boy. A short neck and then like a big crest on the back of its head rather yeah. than a narrow one. That's a Geostrombergia. Um, and the reason what? why I think sure. Sure. that uh, it'll end up being a Geostrombergia is because that's what's in the style guide for Universal, not the Lost World Pteranodon. So unfortunately, I the think style like, guy. Eh? So wow, unfortunately, I think that like oh, I mean, because like you'll see it, like it's on shirts and stuff. Like you can buy shirts right now with a Geostrombergi on it. Um, oh, he's uh, Cease is wearing one. Wait, he's, That's a yeah, nice Geostrombergi right here. Look at that. Uh, Ian Geostrombergi, Malcolm. Malcolm, Malcolm Sternbergia. But yeah, no, I think it's gonna go to Sorna, and I think that that could be. Is that one of the Zavi shirts? 
I Zavi? actually don't know, man. I came home uh, and I saw a bunch of Jurassic if you're shit. A, in general listener, then you can get 20% off on any product on Zavi right now because they've messed up with the code. So if you I use Zavi. Outpost 20 on Zavi on anything, doesn't have to be Jurassic Park related. The last time I checked was a few days ago. It'll get you 20% off the entire <laughs> site. Don't tell Zavi. Now that you mentioned it, man, it, I think it is Zavi, actually, because I saw the uh, the tag. I got, I got another one around here somewhere. I don't know where it went. So white one. It's a nice shirt. I still have that Lost World shirt. Oh, there you go. Me. There I go. still have that. There it is. Well, so what Jurassic what what shirt? <laughs> the Lost World one you bought me. Which one? Which one's that one? Uh, I don't know if it's the second movie in the franchise. It's the um, <laughs> sequel okay. to Jurassic Park. Um, Why didn't I buy you a shirt? You God sent damn. me a Lost World shirt. Did I? A lo- long time ago, like three years ago. Holy yeah. shit! Time I still is have flying. It. I still wear it. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's signed by you. You signed it. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah, you signed Lost World's the best movie. Do you remember? Yeah. Um, do you remember when we uh, walked in on a seat, like constantly watching the Lost World when we were going around? Stop! St- okay, I, I thought want you were about I want to the say record something to change. Else, yes, I remember walking no, in. No, I on want it. the record to change. <laughs> he was enough eating enough. cake. And he was eating cake, watching the Lost World, and like you know, this is like this a is kid. a pretty good I've movie, guys. <laughs> Have you guys you ever seen this? Alex was, dude, Alex was in the room. I was literally talking to Alex last month. Like he was Alex in the room when this happened. Alex was there. I talked to him last month, man. He was there. Alex wasn't there. It was just you. Who's Alex? Um, he wasn't there. This is unacceptable. Remember when Derek <laughs> slept in the basement? Yep. I do remember that, actually, yes. Or did he yep. not sleep in the basement? That. Did he sleep with you and then sat in the basement? No, he slept in the basement, man. I was all alone. <laughs> sat I, in the no, basement? Remember, I I'm slept in the pie. <laughs> pie or the cake? I slept with someone, some pastry. I slept with oh, the, the pastry. Oh, the pie. You, you definitely slept with the pie, and we the definitely cream pie. All ate the pie the next yeah, day. Yeah, we all ate like, the, the, the pie cream the next pie. Day. Yes. Pie. Which is problematic because, like, we also sprayed the air with air freshener. So it was like, it was like slept with slightly <laughs> air freshened cream pie that we, for some reason, ate. Um, T- speaking of which, pie. if you want to hear just more about five the cream boys pie, having a cream pie, there's nothing just, wrong with that. Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Also, don't forget about Maisie. My, the ones and twos, Maisie. Uh, <laughs> in general, forty nine point five. Not, not the Maisie from the movie. It. it was a different Maisie. Different. Maisie. Our we Maisie. did it first, Colin. <laughs> we did it first, man. Named after Maisie. That was man. funny though. Did you remember the neighbors Maisie, complaining? Man. Yeah, we knew it from the start. We, we we remember the neighbors complaining about that Airbnb. Really? Yeah, when we were there. This is the Philly one, right? Yeah. We're yeah. Gonna, <laughs> was it a bit of a the neighbors trouble? complained to whoever booked the Airbnb? I think it was. Uh, who booked it? Alex or Ryan? I think it was Ryan. I think, I think Ryan, Ryan, yeah. Ryan was like, hey, we got an email. It's not that big of a deal because even they said, like, don't worry about this too much. Like, you probably weren't that loud. Like, they complain a lot or something We were like fucking that. loud. But we were pretty loud. Admittedly. We were we fucking got... loud. But and to Derek be fair, we, I didn't realize it was, like, that type of house. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I didn't realize there were, like, neighbors to hear us, if I recall. I talked to your mom on the phone that, that, that day, the first day we met in fucking Philly. Oh, yeah? I talked to your mom on the phone, man. Yeah, she's our number one fan. No, we, you thing. know, weirdly, she does. Like, she follows Jack on Twitter, apparently. <laughs> she sees some she of my really obscure tweets. She said, I was on a call with Chris the other day, and she came on. She yeah, was, she was like, over I my saw house. her tweet to the Guernsey police. And I was like, what oh. the hell? Yeah, she was really? over my house. She was uh, running a few errands and everything. She stopped by, and then she said hi to Jack. And then she started talking to him about his tweets, and I was like, what is happening? <laughs> now, uh, talking yeah, to shit about your tweets, Jack. Jesus are, like, Christ. Direct to other people as well. It yeah, funny. it was really funny. I was like, what? Um, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, yeah, um, ones and twos. Philly was fun. <laughs> so ones and twos, Aziz, baby. Do you not think uh, would go to Sorna? Do you not think Camp Cretaceous season four is going to Sorna? Or I mean, I don't see why it would, man. Why, so you it? think I don't going to go to the mainland? And I think it's going to go to the mainland. I I don't know though. Like you guys probably know more than I do at this point, but I, I well, well, don't see how they would we go ha- to Sorna. So we, ha- <laughs> I guess we can talk about this because it's the podcast, right? Colin has now confirmed that there is a season four, so <laughs> yeah. it's no surprise. But uh, we interviewed Darius and and uh, the character of Ben, uh, be- be- Ben and yeah, Ben and ben Darius, and Darius uh, right? Sean. Yeah, Sean so Paul Gibroni McHale Williams or and Sean whatever. Gibroni, yeah. So we interviewed Sean them Gibroni? And it, Jesus Christ. Sean Gibroni. <laughs> and it, it was <laughs> it was on Zoom. 
And uh, after the call, we realized that uh, Paul Mikel Williams had commented, what, what, did it, what did it, was it like? It was four? like, like, don't tell anyone, but season four is happening. It was like yeah, so yeah. enthusiastic. <laughs> do you remember, we didn't include this in the interviews, but do you remember their reaction? Because they asked us where we thought season four was going to go. And I, I pitched what, what we were pitching. And uh, I, f- I feel like their faces said it all. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so you saw their face reactions to all yeah, the I, I feel like their faces said it all. But so we know. are going to Thorn and then cool. Yeah. Now I know. That's why Chris is like, I'm not damn it, dude. Nine percent sure. No, I for, no, I genuinely. When I was saying that, <laughs> trust I, I, me. I trust me. I forgot about that. I forgot about that until right now. To be honest with you, I genuinely forgot about that. But yeah, no, that, that was a pretty cool call, and they were definitely fans, and they're like talking. You know, it was a we. But cut it down to yeah. be very just to be them, but it was very conversational. Condensed, yeah. Like they were very candid. We talked about a lot of different things. There's a handler in there, so like nothing was like leaked. You know what I mean? Like we had <laughs> yeah, that Hollywood to, handler. Yeah, we just opted not to include that part because we didn't want it to be like a gotcha moment. But yeah, I, I think I feel like Sorna is like I said. I feel like it's gonna happen, um, and it makes yeah, and yeah. it makes sense because there's a lot of stories to but tell there. I feel like to me, it's just like what makes more sense is the fact that the kids are all gonna be in it again like they're yeah. not gonna just switch them out for new characters but if you think about the timeline they're still in 2018 mm-hmm. so if they get to the 2016 now, nothing's 2016 2016 sorry yeah so nothing has happened yeah fallen kingdom hasn't happened yet there's no dinosaurs on the mainland so would there be any story to tell with these kids mm. if they didn't stay on on the island yeah and it, they've obviously got off it so i there is every possibility that it just turns around <laughs> the boat turns around maybe they come into a storm and they're like okay let's go back and they just end up <laughs> back on the island but i i do feel like new blood's kind of done yeah them. i feel like it would be i think the show and the writers wouldn't want to go backwards like that like have like a false like like oh they're off the island like yes they are off the island they're somewhere new what's great is we haven't seen sorna since 2001 so it's not like Isla Nublar is like kind of difficult because we know a lot about it. So there's a lot of times things like we're like, this feels inaccurate or like this is really hard or you can't do this because of this thing. There's so much stuff that's established on Nublar that's a little harder to play. But I feel like Sorna is like in a lot of ways an open book um, conceptually, lore wise. And it's a good way to push the story forward in like a meaningful way that wouldn't like conflict with the films. Like it's harder to do that on Nublar, but I feel like they could do a lot of things with Sorna, you know? They have an open plane. But then if if if, if all they're going to do is say, well, Mizrani went there and Dr. Wu went there and started making some new hybrids. If, if that's sort of like what their plan is for Sorna, they may as well just go to any of the other five deaths because <laughs> there's no point, right? There doesn't has, it doesn't have to be Isla Sorna. At that point, well, dude, they're gonna if, land according on to Sorna? the Jurassic law, all the dinosaurs are dead there anyway. The ones from Ingen time, yeah. So there's nothing on it. Unless well, Mizrani's been breeding there, and if Mizrani dude, or some so, other company has been there, be just so pick another funny. island. When they land there, there's like nothing. There's just gonna walk for an episode. It's like, oh, it's, what's that sound? Oh shit! It's, it's a fucking monkey. It's a fucking <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Gone. gone. No, uh, there, there are definitely dinosaurs on Sorna. So there's a few things. I bet you. That Darius will say something like once they re- realize that they're on Sorna, Darius will be like, "Wait a minute! Like, there's not supposed to be dinosaurs on Sorna anymore." And I'm sure that will probably play into the plot. You mean there are two islands with dinosaurs? Um, and there'll be one. I, you stay out of it. The Spinosaurus, I'm sure, is coming back. Uh, the you Spinosaurus doesn't. will probably be the new big bad. You know, I feel like that makes the most sense. Um, which yeah. Spinosaurus which would be fun. seems to be I bringing it back. Hope the JP3 Raptors are in. Um, yeah, and then maybe the JP3 Pteranodons and maybe the Geosternbergia. Um, it would be cool if they really paid attention. So, like, if the Brachiosaurus looked like JP3, um, like, if they gave them, like, recolors, if the Ankylosaurus looked like JP3, if they're, like, Corytheosaurs. It's, I think it's tough, though, because the Isla Sauna, we've seen it twice on screen, and you've got the Lost World Lost Sauna, World. and then you have yep. JP3 Sauna. Now, fans yep. have gone above and beyond to figure out, like, well, they were on different sides of the island with different climates and different tropics, and yeah, whatever, like, it makes sense. The island's big, it's a lot bigger than Nublar, so there's going to be different variety. I mean, I live in in Redwoods, and there's also tropics, and there's also, you know, other yeah. types of forests here, so it's not far-fetched that JP3 and, you know, it's the same island. I just but- hope... The show. Trying to explain some of that shit, trying to explain the different raptors, whether they show them, are they choosing to show them, are they choosing the JP3 Tyrannodons over the Lost World ones? Do you know what I mean? It, but it creates like a lot of. I, not I guess everybody is going to be happy with those choices, show both. especially Chris Pugh. Um, yes, show both. I think that would be pretty cool if they had the Lost World. Yeah, trend. they should show both. I just like if they had the Lost World Tyrannodons and they were based really on what a threat, we know of like they were just Universal passive. style guides. 
things like that. Is that going to happen? It's, Are they going to be able to show both? I, Do they even have the assets from I, the Lost World anymore? No, I mean, that's the thing. They're going to have to recreate them recreate them all. So, yeah, they'd have to recreate the the Lost World Pteranodon. And same with the JP3 Pteranodons. But I think it would be cool because you could have the Lost World Pteranodon be like more of a passive, like non-threat type of animal. And the JP3 ones could be predatorial. Um, and then the raptors, I think that we're not going to see the tiger raptors again. I don't think we're going to see the JP1. Uh, you know, we're not going to see the tiger males or the JP1 females. Um, I think that if we see raptors there, it's going to be weird if the show doesn't have raptors. So I think it'll be the JP3 raptors. And hell, Thank maybe da- and maybe Darius will give some background and be like, yeah, blah, 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 bred these dinosaurs and blah, blah, blah for this reason. Maybe we'll finally get the answer because the answer might be well known in that universe. It's just the movies have never told us. So this might be a final, like a way to kind of tie it together. And that'd be cool. Finally seeing Jurassic Park designs coexisting alongside Jurassic World designs. I think that's all I've ever wanted. And I think if they just tie it together, that would feel really natural. It's weird. It's kind of weird that it hasn't happened. If that, you know, like I'm surprised we haven't mm-hmm. seen a legacy design next to a new design. I think, that, I mean, yeah. And I think the JP3 Raptors are, are such a standout on their own that it would be so it would make so much sense they're obviously very different to blue so the kids that are watching the show that maybe haven't seen jp3 like at least to them it's it's something new new and exciting yeah it's brand new it's exciting yeah the same way when we were kids and we watched jp3 for the first time and it was like what the fuck are those yeah (laughs) and to to this day we're still like but but what are they what the fuck are those (laughs) what what are they (laughs) what's going on here okay made them so I don't know if you guys have talked about this on the, the previous podcasts or the, on the site, like the Deinonychus, that Jurassic World Dominion Deinonychus, that the white yeah, one. Yeah, we can talk about that because it's not really a leak. It's um, it's on merchandise. I mean, the merchandise wasn't supposed to come out, I'm sure, but all the same, it's on merchandise in stores. It accidentally got approved, and they're accidentally selling it. Like something got screwed up. Those aren't Deinonychus, yeah. though. They're Atrociraptors. Um, what the fuck is that? Um, it's. Oh, it's a real species. You don't It's know. a real species. Um, but yeah, no, they're originally called Deinonychus at some point in production, and then they changed their names, um, which I think makes sense because Deinonychus has a very well-known look, and I think these deviate from that well-known look. Mm-hmm. So you, sticking with something that's less described gives them more freedom to play with it. I like them, by the way. Uh, you know, a lot of people are complaining that they're not feathered. I think they look cool as hell. I think they look fucking really, really uh, rad too, man. Yeah, I think that they that look cool as hell. Was a really bad way to unveil them, though, on a badly rendered. Well, yeah, that they wasn't don't fit on the background. They don't sit on the floor. It's just like yeah, it wasn't yo, intended. But, that's for sure. The white one looks like the fucking female the the JP3 Raptor. What's yeah, up with that? what's up? That has to be intentional. Chris, There's no Chris way has a not. theory there. It's like they took maybe parts of the DNA of the JP3 Raptors from like, Sauna to to make these new dinosaurs, so that they kind of have the same traits, but they're not the like same. like they're like yeah, that's like so almost cool. that's like, so cool. Yeah, so that's a question. Like, did Engine make these? Did somebody else make these? It'd be pretty cool if Manticore made them. Like, hey, maybe Manticore went there. They exploited Sorna. They took some of these animals and then reverse engineered them into their own versions that they could own and sell. And they call them Atrociraptors, but meanwhile they're like reverse engineered. Well, one, the other one looks like the Tiger Raptor, which is confusing. So one looks like it's the, really, really, yeah. really weird, man. One, one, one looks like the JP3 female, and the other looks like the Tiger Raptor. That's confusing yeah. to me. Um, and then they're an all new species. It would have almost been interesting if they would have, instead of being an all new species, if they were like crossbreeds between JP, JP and Lost World Raptors and then JP3 Raptors. But I don't think that's the case because then there's the, the other two just look unique. Um, but yeah, one mm. slightly tiger looking, one slightly JP3. Two of them are sort of like reddish. Um, but they look cool as hell. They genuinely look really, yeah, really cool. Yeah, they do cool. look good. I mean, it's just such a they, disappointing way to unveil those dinosaurs. They, you know, it was like people thought we were complaining. There was so it's classic fandomism, but like there was that whole thing on Twitter. People were like you can't complain about them. We're finally getting you done. It's like no, people are allowed to say that the render looks like shit because it does. I don't think the designs like look shit. bad, but yeah, it's, it's the designs look great. You can tell they're going to be fucking cool on screen, but yeah, showing man. this shit ass render where they don't even fit in the environment they're in on the front yeah. of a puzzle box. I mean, it's sorry, like, but I can't paste. really. Yeah, they're just comped badly. Well, I can't. Ha- I mean, fit. I can't hate on anyone. I mean, that that's just the. Uh, merchandise company screwing up making really exactly. bad really they bad merchandise and then and... of course somehow that ends up being our first look at them which is a bummer um <laughs> it's a real shame because yeah. they could have all been was... revealed one by one um there could have been a lot of fun things that's but that's one thing i don't understand with with that what whoever would choose to do this whether it's colin or the studio but like they don't ever do that they don't just like 
unveil the new dinosaur, especially these, which aren't the feature, they aren't the main thing, just do a like a post on the official Jurassic World account. It's like, welcome to the franchise, these fucking Yeah, US. when like when they post leaked a really so, cool shot. When they leak so widely, at that point, I feel like giving at least one of them, like or a te- something official, because this isn't the best look at them. So doing something that is a better look at them. Like they're out there. Yeah. And I get it. I guess casuals aren't seeing it. It's only the super fans, but all the same, the super like paint a better picture with it like it's out there so just it, you can't put it yeah. back in the box as mills would like to say oh as mills would like <laughs> so, to say and uh speaking of dominion though um but yes yeah. yeah, did you see the intro or sorry no. the prehistoric scene you have not seen i have it. not i've not you've not I even probably seen... won't have a chance to anymore because the cinemas in uh where i was uh before i came to ottawa uh didn't have imax so i didn't have a chance to see it so i came to ottawa they're playing Black Widow now, so I, oh, I, I missed oh, it. Man. So you've yeah. not, well, you've not even seen so you got, leaked like <laughs> leaked camera. I've seen nothing, man. All I know is there's a there's, there's a fight. There's a a feathery looking dude, and there's a an overwrapped looking guy. That's all I've seen so far. Did you see, pictures, so you, like, feathery dude Twitter. and an uh, ivy wrapped guy. <laughs> I don't know what the feather dude is, but he looks cool as hell, man. Oh, that's interesting to hear you say that. It's funny, both you and Jack had a uh, positive reaction to Feathers, um, which is funny. After all these years... After- no, pause, 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 pause. They did it the right way. <laughs> they did it the right way. I don't want to see it in the modern day, in the past. Yes. Cool. Very oh, cool. Well, you well for get me, ready it, for modern day Feather Dinosaurs alongside I don't want feathers. Feather Dinosaurs. It's I don't like Feathers, but no. Assis, this is, how I, this is how I do it, right? It's not in gen. <laughs> it's not the dinosaurs we know and love new dinosaurs being introduced and they have feathers and we obviously know scientifically now dinosaurs did have feathers and they can explain the very specific reasons as to why ingen's dinosaurs didn't have them i'm kind of on board like i don't okay okay wanna, okay but you get they it, don't right? need to that take makes... over the franchise no, I, get it. I think it would be cool seeing occasionally like some fe- like a feathered raptor next to the jurassic park raptors like no it would be i don't cool want to see, see no that, feathered like, raptors man Different species, different maybe species. not raptors, yeah. maybe not T-Rex. Yeah, it's different species. You know, the Ovi raptor having feathers and shit that looked cool. Yeah, would, like a yeah, you'll like that it when pretty you cool, see man. the scene. Some of that looks really good. Yeah, and so like, you didn't. Is see- that is that like part of the movie or is that like a special like little side thing just for the F nine? Because I I've missed it now. I have not seen it. It, it is for the movie. Uh, Colin and others have said in interviews that it seems like it's not in the movie right now though. Um, it's basically it was made for the movie, but. In the editing, it's a big movie, and in the editing process, I guess they lost it. But in interviews, Colin said they're still working it out. So we'll see if it ends up in the movie. If it doesn't end up in the movie, I bet you it will. Like once they make the decision, one way or another, oh, if they make the shit? decision that it's not in the film, I'm sure that preview will go online. If they make the decision that it is in the film, I don't think that preview is going to go online. But I'm sure it'll also be like on. No matter what, it'll be on the Blu-ray. Um, you guys mentioned something it, it about should... the T Rex. The T Rex has proper hands now. Like, what's what does it's... that what does that mean? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's interesting. She's got five fingers, uh, oh. well, four fingers, oh. and one yeah, thumb. Up. And yeah, four thumbs she, up. She walks around, and gives a thumbs up. Uh, no, so <laughs> a few things with the new T Rex. Uh, she's been subtly redesigned to look a little bit more like Jurassic Park. Um, what do you mean? So she's bulkier now, for one Darker thing. Darker eyes, she's slightly fatter? bigger. Yeah, head. she's kind of got she's her just, stripes. Like up. just on screen in the modern day version, when you see her in the theater, mm-hmm. she just. You just kind of like, like, yeah, that's, the, yeah, that's this, Rexy. That's yeah, Roberta. it like really, it really feels more like her. Um, to all the people okay. out there, that are like all the all the t- all the uh, T Rexes look the same to me. You're fucking blind because <laughs> they don't. <laughs> no, this I mean, one it's, does look like it's it's, it's not it's like, not entirely the Jurassic Park. There's a ton of Jurassic World in there. It's not a huge Jurassic redesign. They just made her a little fatter. Um, they changed the brow ridge a little bit on the eyes to make it a little bit more like Jurassic Park. And then they basically went in and they re-emphasized all those colors from Jurassic Park were there, like the eye shadow, but it was muted to hell and back in Jurassic oh, World. Oh, shit. But she now, got, oh, now the eye shadow is super oh. dark around her eyes. She's got stripes. Um, and then also, like you said, the arms. So in Jurassic Park... In all the other movies, Rexy has these little bunny arms, you know, that they face down. And for yeah. whatever reason, they went in, they changed them to face uh, side to side. It looks a lot better. It's a really random change, but uh, I'm, I'm not bothered by it. Cool. it. It's not Jurassic Park. It's not Jurassic World. It's all new and it looks good as hell. So no complaints. Mm. Um, yeah, it just it just works with the scene as well. Like there's some shots in this opening where you just she just blends perfectly into the sequence, you know, like when the characters are faced away from her and stuff and they don't realize she's there. The whole thing, just the whole sequence in the movie theater 
feels so much more Jurassic than anything that's come prior in the modern. Really? Yeah, no, yeah, it's it, really it, it, well it, shot. And it's funny, the, the whole prehistoric scene is before the fight, because the Giga and the T-Rex fight, and it's kind of like, I don't, there's no reason for them to fight. I didn't want the fight. It doesn't. They don't even, really well, that's the thing is they well. don't even live in the same time period at all. Like, so it's no, like, there's a lot the, of weird the, things with it. Is it a good the fight? The fight though? happens and then the Giga just walks off. So it's not like, it's like, it's such a weird thing, but everything that came before it is like literally watching planet earth, but for dinosaurs, you're just watching these dinosaurs in their environments. It's shot beautifully. It's animated perf- like perfectly. Um, it's a really nice scene. They, it would be wrong to not include it in Dominion because I think it sets things up really well. I guess. Um, I don't know if it's a great movie opener, though. No, I don't think it would be a good movie opener. I think what you guys are mentioning, what I've read from like the Slash film and all that crap is like, not crap, but like all the, those sites is like uh, that opening that's like a T-Rex like is like loose in the, the woods and it goes to the cinema. Like That would be a cool opening. That, yeah, that feels very Jurassic incident. Park. Like an inciting incident, real quick, yeah. nice and nice and fast. Someone gets ma- someone makes out with someone that's really weird. Apparently, you guys mentioned that. Someone, oh, like, like, chats. That, that's funny. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. There's a kissing scene. What was, what was that? Uh, uh, the the two people uh, making out during the uh, driving. That no, is it's so really funny because it felt they just felt like two extras who've never like met each other and then were like asked to kiss one another. Holy shit! So for reference, I just sent a, a cease a picture from the. Uh... Of the T-Rex when it's roaring against the screen. Where the fuck did uh, you get this picture? Uh, that's from people's cam rips. Like, they're being passed around Holy pretty shit. frequently. It looks fake so, as hell, man. What'd you say? It looks like, a, it looks like someone like, put a toy in front of the camera. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, she looks so good, she's though. Doing, she's doing her breakout pose. Uh, Dude, she looks way she, different, man. Yeah. She looks different, but she looks... Holy like, hell. I find... I find it looks like the Jurassic Park T Rex. Absolutely, it does. She Wait till you see this other one. Way more than it looks like the Chronicle uh, Breakout wow. Rex. She looks old as hell too. Yeah, I like no. How they like age the white part of like, like kind of like a golden retriever, like the white part of the nose it's, and shit. Yeah, it's age. She looks appropriate compared to how she did in the last two movies. It just seems more like more attention has been given to. Okay, how would the T Rex actually mm-hmm. age? And then. That's it. Like it just visually, when you look at it, you're like, yeah, that's the Jurassic Park T Rex. Yep. Wow. There's not really anything else to it. It's the Jurassic Park T Rex. Um, Holy shit. Yeah, I mean that's that's fair enough. That scene, the prehistoric scene, not being a, a, an opener, but I, I I just feel like it would play so well. It would be. <laughs> it's such a gorgeous scene. It's, it's so beautiful. Good to see it yeah. In this entire franchise, we've never been back to where it all began when dinosaurs were actually on the earth before genetic engineering <laughs> brought them back. I think oh it's such God. a good idea to show that. And if, yeah, if they don't use it in the movie, then they need to release that online. Yeah. No, dude, I, she looks really good. Looking at other two pictures. Huh? Holy shit, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It, isn't the cinematography just gorgeous? Do that last shot you sent. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. For reference, he's looking at the shot um, when the T-Rex roars backlit from the projection of the wow. drive-in. And so she's like roaring at the camera and you get the full body shot and the light streaming through. Uh, she looks her. hella mean, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, she looks scary again. She looks stressed, pissed off, and like, get the hell out of my way. That's so cool. Yeah. That's the T-Rex. And she's old. She can't be dealing with this crap. Leave her alone. <laughs> There's How long these is flying the things in the, chasing in the her. Thing? How long what? How long is the sequence in the uh, the thing you guys saw? Is it, is uh, like, what um, is it like? Five two minutes, three minutes. What is it like? I think it's about five minutes. Five and a half minutes, minutes or so? in the prehistoric era. Yeah. And then, so ha- you've read the whole descriptions. You read that the I've read most um, of it. Yeah, yeah. So like the mosquito comes and takes the T Rex uh, blood yeah, after dead it. Rex. Yeah. After it dies, and obviously Collins confirmed that that is the original. That's the blood. That's the blood that makes this T Rex. And what's funny um, is the T Rex <sighs> during that sequence really cool. it has feathers. What? Yeah, T Rex store in that sequence has feathers, mild Ugh. feathers. Like it, 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 they're kind of like how, no. how would you describe? They're like it? floofy. Yuck. It's not really like it's a it's fluffy like T Rex. You know, <laughs> it, it's like you can barely like some people didn't even notice it was feathered. For what it's worth, like I, I'll send you a picture. I see. So I yeah. Got one here. I can't believe I missed this. Like I, I've been gone for so fucking. Yeah, long. I just Holy can't believe shit. you didn't like see this stuff or like find it online or whatnot like that's actually the funny part to me dude i've had no time to look man fair that's not that's not even feather that's like it's like floof it's like a little bit of it's a peach fuzz peach fuzz floof floof <laughs> it's it's floof um <laughs> it's yeah it's like um it's like a little fluff on her 
Yeah, I don't know. But you can this see it quite clearly really in, in a lot of the shots. Huh. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, what a weird looking... You know, I don't know if I like that. So, my favorite design, though, in the intro is the Quetzalcoatlitz. Um, that's just a gorgeous design. So Quetzalcoatlus, Quet- Quetzalcoatlus, Qu- Quetz- blah, blah, blah. Who the hell is Quetzalcoatlus? But do you remember the Jurassic World Dominion? Oh, not Jurassic World Dominion. <laughs> the Jurassic World uh, pitch trailer where the Quetzalcoatlus or what Quetzalcoatlus? Oh, the flying boy. Um, yeah. Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah. Anyways, Quetzalcoatlus. Quet- Quet- Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus. Um, <laughs> the fly boy. Uh, so do you remember the intro and then how at the end of that there was the Jurassic World logo with the like the T Rex, the Quetz, and then like a feathered raptor. I was thinking I how, yeah, yeah. I was thinking how cool that'd be if like we get a version of that logo now because I think we're gonna get like versions of all those dinosaurs now yeah. in this new movie. So it's you know, I don't know. Steve, they've definitely taken elements from that. Yeah, right? yeah. No, they definitely have, and like it really. Uh, I don't know. We could get that logo now. I'm just like looking at the picture still. What a weird, what a weird thing. The floofy what a strange Rex. thing. Yeah, what a strange looking thing. It's like, it's like a. It doesn't. It's funny know, because it's... it doesn't. They've obviously changed it. Not just the feathers. It doesn't really look like the same T Rex you then see. No, in the it doesn't. Day, right? It looks obviously way different. It's different, but it looks like different. It's the skull not shape and everything. that. It's pretty much a Jurassic Park T Rex with floof on it. No, you can t- you can definitely tell the Jurassic T Rex, but it doesn't look like the ones I'm seeing in the in the drive through though. It, it, God, there's the definitely some differences. Is so good. Holy um, shit. I would have liked if they would have given... Check this Check this shot out. So Jesus for reference, Christ. again, I'm sending him a shot. Low quality, because it's only from rips, but of the uh, T-Rex once it's dead and you, it goes to the eye. Oh, you can see the, and you it's can see the hairs. The yeah. You can see the hairs there. Wow. They look more like quills, funnily enough. There. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't remind me of feathers. It's like a... Like, a like JP3 retriever. quills. But, like, but like a whole floofy carpet of it. Floof. Yeah. So the name of this pod has to have floof in it because we've said that word enough now. <laughs> Sandu sees the floof. Um, <laughs> Assis reveals his floof. <laughs> the floof. Oh geez. Um. So yeah. No. It's weird. We're we're finally getting feathers, and we're all sort of seeing it, and it's going over well. It's one of those things that people said they didn't want, and then it happened, and people were like, "Oh, okay, I can handle it this way." And oh, hey, these things look cool, like the Morris Intrepidus. The, uh, which is the feathered little species that they... Oh, is that the fluffy little dude? The, yeah, yeah, the, the one jaws? they released a picture of. Mm. Like, it's a pretty cool looking thing. Like, it's like, it's not necessarily the type of dinosaur that I think is going to front run a, like, a Jurassic franchise, you know what I mean? Like, but it's a good looking design and it's really cool world building design. And it's just fun seeing things like that alongside things like the Atrociraptor. Like, seeing that those are both coming from the same movie. That's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm I'm happy that that's happening. And I really Dude, do. I don't s- know, man. And did you see the, the T Rex? I did. I, I actually have seen that. It's, uh, uh, I saw it in the uh, one of the one of the images. Yeah. But the uh, the Rex without the hair looks so much better. With yeah, the the I, modern day Rex is fantastic. Yeah, seriously, you can't like <laughs> you can't get better than that. They took them three movies, but they did it. They got they got that. Yeah, and it's cool because again, <laughs> wow. it's not like a complete retcon in the sense that it's not just them taking the Jurassic Park T Rex. There are a ton of Jurassic oh, World happened. unique elements. It's still the Jurassic World Rex. It's just they help bring her back to Jurassic Park. Like they connected mm-hmm. it in a good way. Yeah, and they they yeah. brought. It's supposed to be the Jurassic Park T Rex. Yeah. so it's it should look exactly like that, and now it does. Now it looks it does. really fucking yep. good. Now right. it looks close enough that there's no reason to have any complaints. Nobody can complain about it. Whereas when you compare a shot from Jurassic <laughs> Park, no matter the animatronic or the visual effects. And the Jurassic World T Rex. It's you uncanny. Put them together, they are so different. It's un- it's <laughs> uncanny. It's yeah, no, it, it's like so close yet so different. But it looks the same. <laughs> it looks the same. You guys just complaining it's, for no reason. It's like no, it's different. I'm not even complaining. It's just objectively, it's you know, it looks different. <laughs> it really is objectively, different. objectively. This one's really good. So that scene's good. But it seems you got to see it soon. Man. Yeah, I'm sure. I, I don't I'm know sure how Bryson, I can. Uh, Bryson can send you a copy. God. Or something. <laughs> yeah, but you'll if, have to find him. He's he's been banned from every if social. Someone, is he actually spreading yeah. election misinformation uh, and things like that? Election? What's uh, going on? Or rather, what Jurassic have I, misinformation. What have I missed? <laughs> no, Holy no, no. Shit. But I do believe that he's lost his accounts for like spreading the uh, the intro leaks. I do believe he just he just leaked it a lot. He was he was too open about I think too uh, open about being like, hey, if you want it, I'll send it to you. <laughs> Universal was just like, 
<laughs> I mean, Universal number one fans, right? So Universal, send it, your, send it your way. Send it my way. I'd love to see this. <laughs> um, yeah, no, yeah, I, mean, well, I would love. Either way, Assis, we'll uh, we'll make sure you get a copy of it somehow. I'm sure. Um, I'm sure there are ways. I think it's on like uh, the Obi Wrapper looks so good, man. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Man. That's how you do feathers properly, man. Yeah. Yes, and it animates like a chicken. You should, it animates the way like it a bird. looks so good. It, it's like bobs around like a pigeon or something. It, it's, it's really so twitchy and it real. Feels right. It's why I like the monologue. I haven't, seen the, I haven't seen the movement yet. That's the worst part. Yeah, the, I mean, the I movement. See the stills. That's the other thing. Yeah, man. Looks so good. Yeah, you're missing the Nasuta Ceratops scene, by the way, is one of the best ones as well. I don't um, even know there's a new Sinister, like, what you, what you, like from like the fucking from, Big Rock or whatever? Uh, it's the same species, yeah, but from the intro. Um, they look gorgeous, to say the least. Um, God damn it, man. Oh, I'm missing you. out. I, I feel like, I'm, like I've am like i missed something important. Uh, you it's missed ridiculous. a chunk. You missed the beginning of the Dominion marketing. Like, It's weird, though, because... like, What is know. this? Yeah, isn't that gorgeous? Holy shit. To, for reference, it's he's a good looking scene, man. at the Nasutoceratops herd crossing the river with the one rolling around in the water. Oh, there's a dude in the water. Look at it's that guy. He's having a scene. great time. Yeah. Wow, oh, look at the, this. All the dinosaurs move so well in this sequence, like in these sequences. They act like animals, and it kind of brings back, and I've talked about this, I think, on the last pod, is it brings back that sense of wonder that Jurassic Park had. That I don't think the Jurassic yeah, World man. movie. I don't think the Jurassic Holy World movies have shit. done a good job of bringing that sense of awe and wonder. I don't think we've had it since the first two films, to be honest with you. Um, they tried. Dude, this it. is incredible, man. Yeah, it, it it's yeah. So I'm very yeah. excited. It's something special. This it's scene, so um, well shot. Mm. So well shot. Wow. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. And I personally, I do think it should be in the movie, whether it's the beginning or at the end. I just think seeing would, dinosaurs in it the should be at the end, man. Era, It'd be really cool. It sense. would be Maybe a good the end, end, depending on yeah, depending on where end. things go. That kind of brings it full circle. Yeah, right? I feel that's where it began, and also we're coming right back there because well, I don't know what happens at the end of Dominion, but I'm but yeah, I'm sure a lot of chaos, and we're probably by you know it's going to be a climax, so it's probably scary and stuff like that. And ending the movie with maybe a hopeful note of like dinosaurs are animals and kind of beautiful, I feel like that'd be a good place yeah. to end. You know what I mean? Like this movie's yeah. supposed to be capping off the Jurassic Park and Jurassic World trilogy, so I think ending it on a note of like dinosaurs are fucking awesome would be a really good way to end it. Like I don't know how much that would make sense, but I do feel like everything before that is going to be like dinosaurs are fucking scary. So like going back to like, but they're also beautiful would be a cool place to end. I feel like it would be a good way to like kind of like cap off the franchise. Um, well, I mean, yeah. the, it's not ending, but cap off this sort of saga, I guess this sort of this trilogy. Yeah, this know, six the film the day, saga. This, this is a trilogy and it's going to end. And then they'll probably do a new trilogy, but mm. it depends. It really does depend what happens with Dominion yeah. as well, because will that open it up for prequels or will it be a complete open book of like, well, the world's fucked. So we need some more. Well, cause there Frank's already talked about Jurassic world four, you know, and, and possible sequels. And yeah. Things. Yeah. Yeah. He was like, it was really funny. Saying? It was one of those things where he's like, no, Jurassic world. Isn't the end. It like kicks off a new era, uh, uh, or dominion. Isn't the end it's kicking off a new era or something along those lines. Um, while he's counting even, his pennies. Where do you even go after this? Like, like, I don't even know what's well, happening in this fucking movie. I, I, it depends what happens at the end of Dominion. Because I, I believe that we're, we're going to be entering a world where dinosaurs are, are broken out and they're everywhere. And then also How? other companies are breeding them. What? Didn't you see the end of Fallen Kingdom, Assis? 20 dinosaurs got out. 20? Like <laughs> Globally. It's like one raptor, a T-Rex, and a Stiggy Moloch. Yeah. Uh, oh, the damage that Stiggy's going to do, man. Uh, bad boy, destroy man. whole cities. Um, but it has, it has. Uh, some people have been posting like Jurassic Souls and Josh have been posting um, old fake Jurassic Park four posters. I don't know if you oh, saw some of them, but I saw. I think fuck. I saw. Them, yeah, it's like nostalgia. It's, no, it's really bad memories, man. The, the, I just the dark I remember looking back and thinking when I was oh. a kid, I used to print those posters off and stick them on my wall. I was like, no. I've got like three posters for Jurassic Park four, <laughs> all these different different names and different titles. I was like, they're real. <laughs> Dude, the fucking, that was the dark phase of our fucking fandom. Um, man. I hated that time. Do you? Yeah, what's how we met? You were writing in. I know, man. Jurassic I... Park Four news. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a time! I well, Horrible one time. of the things that I really liked was that um, that Dilophosaurus poster. 
Oh, oh yes, that was a good leak. That was an old leak as well. That was one. Of I've, the first I remember on IGN. IGN what, ran le- that leak. way back yeah. in the day, man. I remember that's where I read it way back in the day. So, if uh, for reference, who doesn't remember that one? It was a, it was a taken as if it was in a studio, right? Yeah. Like the poster had been put on a on a like presentation thing um, yeah. and the poster was there and then the next sheet was a script page that you obviously couldn't read like you couldn't get to it but i'm pretty sure the title was like no no that was a different script because there was, was a dawn of extinction script i think it was drastic leaked, part leaked, four extinction fake. or some shit like that yeah but it was basically a really fucking cool logo with a sit like it was like the gradient over the jurassic park text so it was darker and you it had a dilophosaurus in it it was very very cool logo and for a long time, people thought that was real. It and looked the guy came so out. real. It looked really good, man. It looked really well, good. Wasn't it like Carnotaur 3, his username was, or something? Uh, I don't know the names, like, Ben. I came out and was like, yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was like one of those things like, yeah, it was a fake and it got a little uh, got, got a little bigger than I meant to, you know, meant it. My bad. It was I kind of funny. Was fake so there was two, two things that wrote into Jurassic park 4.org at the time and then jurassic world.org at the time but when we were jurassic park 4.org and also we had um i, re- I used to have jurassic park 4.com and jurassic park 4.co.uk <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile that's why they changed um, it to jurassic world <laughs> there it is so like we that's don't the, like we don't have the domain scott change the title summer 2006 the fucking um, but there was another man. one do you remember do you remember dark continent the, i do i do remember that one that one was cool. That was, um, it was a great, uh, great little uh, or piece of art too. Cool write up, great poster, and then there was that other one, which they're kind of it's very similar to the Dominion poster, how that turned out. But it was like charcoaly blue background. Uh, gra- it was like granite in the. It was like concrete floor, you mm-hmm. know, or like a stone and an amber. Oh, like I do. A round piece of I'm amber very... was in the middle. Uh, and I can't remember anything else about it. No, but I have the like... worst memories. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know the exact moment I was when I saw that. I know exactly where I was. I know exactly what happened in my life when I saw that. It was a horrible day. <laughs> wow. Daniel, it's... for all you hockey fans, it was the day Daniel Alfredson, De- our fucking number one Ottawa senator, got traded to the d- damn Detroit Red Wings. That was that same day. <laughs> Cursed day. I mean, as a, as a resident Canadian now, see, that that day resonates with me i right suffer here. because of right that in the day. heart every right. day i think about it right in the heart <laughs> but that poster day. was cool um and that one was one that i believe that was emailed in to jurassic park 4.org and they were telling us uh it's, it's official real. you know yeah. i got this i got a friend that works at the studio because oh. they'd taken it <laughs> worst day it ever in the studio offices i remember it was a picture and then yeah. when they finally owned up they sent the real thing through and they were like i hope you still like it <laughs> <laughs> like, it's fucking it's cool man but you're messing idiot. with a fad site it's like 14 year old kids being like we want jurassic park 4 <laughs> yeah my heart's already broken from that day let me break some more with some oh you're a yeah, bad seriously, person right <laughs> I but we're past day. it now Jurassic Park 4 ha- came and went they did and then Jurassic Park 5 came and went and now we're yep. on to uh, Jurassic Park 6 on to the 6th yeah just as Michael Crichton intended uh, well maybe <laughs> I'm not sure if, I mean I'll, uh, I do wonder if Michael Crichton were still around I'm sure that he would be tentatively involved I feel like he would have actually mm. the concept of Jurassic World being an open park I think he would have been up for it but i think he would have helped, like maybe i'm curious where he would have steered it you know what i mean like i think that he would have it had would have some ideas really weird man he probably would have been like if you're doing this let's like he would have probably had some wild ideas because i mean his yeah, it would have probably got heavier into the 100 percent that would have happened 100 percent that's gonna happen well what's I'm gonna still happen? on the i'm on the dino human hybrid man i'm still on that shit it's gonna happen <laughs> it Maisie, she's part of dinosaur i'm telling you right now book it write it down do it <laughs> She's part dog too. Die is it die who ogs? It was die who ogs. Yeah, die who ogs. Die who ogs. She's part uh, dinosaur, man. God. Part Reptiles. Reptilians. I'm telling you. Uh, there's got there'll be there'll be a nod to it in Dominion, maybe. Like if they ever go into like Manticore's lab or Biosyn's lab, maybe we'll see remnants of the Grendel Corporation and what they had been. That would with. be interesting Ooh. if like the uh Grendel Corporation was in the Jurassic Park 4 script. The John Sales script, which is where the dialogue. Isn't Grendel yeah. from the other guys with Will Ferrell? What? Mark Wahlberg? Grendel? Yeah, the other guys. Wahlberg? 
Oh, the other guys, the movie. <laughs> yeah, Incredible Corporation. I'm pretty sure those are the bad guys in that movie too. They're all really? over the place. Yeah. I'm pretty sure, Maybe dude. Like, I'm pretty sure. The, they're like, we have all these. The this would be uh, really good for the budget. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, they're a fucking like finance company too in, in that movie. So I'm just saying, think things. Wait, is the wait, 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 wait. Is the Grendel Corporation? Uh, no, sorry. Was the other guys a Universal movie? I think it was. No, I think uh, no, dude. I think it actually was. Yes, it was. 2010. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I've this is a the Jurassic case. Part three page job, but we ain't talking about. Yeah, it. I know it's it's so uh, funny that we came in here to talk about JP three and we've done anything but basically. Well, we talk, <laughs> dude. I've talked about JP three enough. People know my stance on it. They know well, your stance. You know, no, Jack's no, stance. it's Columbia Pictures, by the way. So Sony, it's Columbia. So, so, yeah. Oh, okay. it's Col- I thought it was you. Know, are you sh- I, yeah, just I checked. don't know, man. But you know, really? well, Columbia it, with a production studio, it could have been distributed by Universal. Fair. Let's have a look. But um, for what it's worth. I think that it does make sense that we can hold a JP3 episode until we all um, maybe familiarize ourselves with some of the content that's been coming out as well from Stuck on Sorna. Um, Who the fuck is Stuck on Sorna? <laughs> have you not seen <laughs> what are you the, talking, um, what you you not seen the early JP3 storyboards and whatnot with like the raptor oh, on the Oh, yes. Yeah, I saw the one with the, like, with the Baryonyx in the boat. Yeah, Grant. And it says Baryonyx, but I think at that point it was already a Spinosaurus because they're drawing it like a Spinosaurus. So I bet you it was written as Baryonyx, but then the art, like the decision was already made, just the script wasn't updated. So it still says Baryonyx oh, in the storyboards. Very cool. But so the that's, kids still, yeah. Yeah, that's with cool. the Extreme Sports Kids, which goes back to. The piece of artwork that you've had. 1999. Jack, that goes back to the piece of artwork that you have, actually. Remember with the Bary- or Baryonyx, was it? Or the Sukumimus or something? On the one side of the river, the kids on the raft and the T-Rex on the other side of the river. We're finally yeah, seeing... Yeah, the one that I'm never going to share with anyone because it's mine and you can all fuck yeah. off. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, we're yeah, finally seeing... Yeah. We are finally seeing that one. Um, we're seeing the story elements for that. It's just so funny because you've had that for so long. And it's like we're finally seeing more of that. Do you, do you think that's one, something you can get out there? Think that? Do you think? Do you oh, think, you mean the art? Yeah. Do you think now? Now is the time. Pay per yeah, view, buddy. Pay per view. Five bucks a view. Think about oh, it for a price. Yeah. yeah. I, I will have to find it because I'm blanking on what you're actually talking about. But um, you know more about my collection than I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Said so us frighten you. I have another Jurassic Park four script as well that nobody's seen. The one that William Monahan wrote. Wait, what? Um. So William Monahan whoa, whoa, whoa. drafted. Okay, let's, okay, let's take a let's take a let's take a pause sales, here. And then I'm gonna stop you right now. You stop after. talking right now. You stop talking right now. Where, where did you get this? <laughs> What's <laughs> going on here? I don't. I don't. I, don't, I, don't, I swear. I'm but really John, stick. But it exists, right? It exists. I I did speak oh, to me, somebody man. briefly about a year ago who who claimed they had it or, or claimed they saw it in the script trade. So in there, because you have to be in their circle. Man. Yeah, be, the script trades are pretty tight. In their circle. It's a pretty... And I won't even circle? tell you what they've got, but he was telling me they had... Uh, they, he had a Jurassic Park 4 script that says Rev by Monaghan on the front and it's dated 2005 so it's dated a year out from John Sale's script oh. it's Rev by Monaghan so William Monaghan and he openly spoke about how he took John Sale's script and rewrote it or re-adapted it slightly do you remember him saying oh, yeah. I made the kids like the kids in Willy Wonka uh, yeah, yeah I remember you that, pointing but... to that um, inter- that script is out there and I I don't know. I don't know. I, I we need to get a hold. I of would it. honestly, because there's that ultimate visual history book coming out for Jurassic Park, um, the Jurassic Park trilogy, and as much like I mean, okay, so obviously that's not going to duck into Jurassic Park four, but at the very least, that might duck into some of the undone, un, 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 the early Jurassic Park three stuff. Um, but a next year, a Jurassic World visual uh, visual history is coming out. Um, for all three movies and maybe you'll dip into some of the jp4 stuff although something tells me they want to avoid all those dark years i bet you they don't acknowledge like the human dino hybrids although they should i mean it didn't happen but it was something that was being humored so just talk about it and it's not like is it well it's like I they're, they're feel so secretive like people are gonna be I, I i don't know i feel like people are gonna be disappointed when that book comes out. i i just don't feel like it's gonna go deep enough like I, fans have there, everybody has their own shit. Everybody knows, like, D- you know, Derek and people like that have dug up so much stuff from, like, Rick Carter's collection. Do you really think that, like, Universal are going to put all that out there? <sighs> I just, there's going to be gaps. There's going to be missing stuff. There's going to be posters missing that we're like, we know that poster exists. We know there's, like, missing gaps here in the timeline. I just feel like the book is going to be half-assed. 
like most of the shit that comes out. It the same with like the Jurassic World. Like look at like visuals. There was that Prometheus art book that was incredible, so in depth. Hey, there you go. <laughs> Where did that come from? That came from Jack. I mean, it came from me, but from Jack. Huh. It, it's a piece of artwork that he had to look for, so I looked for it. <laughs> that is the one. Whoa. From TB. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We're, well, that's the thing. We have a few um, things that we're planning to do, it, to do, but I think it would be great if we all, yeah, as Chris was saying, we should all read the, the uh, 2000 or 1999 script, the script uh, for Jurassic Park 3. And it's talk about the yeah it's not awesome it's not hugely different but there are some differences um and there's some really interesting ones um some that would arguably make the movie yeah better. so like it's funny some things are a lot better than the final version and some things are like definitely like like i'm like oh they made the right choice here you know what i mean like so it, it was it's a mix of the two um it's a lot of the same it's the version though that like billy dies in Rest in peace. I didn't know he died. I did not know that. Yeah, yeah. He was even supposed to die in the final one. Like he talked, like the actor talked himself into living, um, (laughs) which is funny. But um, to come back in Dominion, obviously. So I, I think it's not like the one that uh, Stuck on Sorna has been sharing, which is the very different one with like the extreme sports kids. It's got like the motorcycle scene. Um, it's I'm very interested about that one. And like, was that still a rescue story, or like, why? How was Grant involved in that story, Jack? Do you recall? In which story, and stuck sorry? on Sorna's one with the extreme sports kids. I know Grant's, you know, Grant's there, but how how did that one include Grant? Grant, I I think there was a miscommunication there. So I think Grant was already on the island in the trees, and I think the kids crashed on the island. Uh, is that is That's that why the long hair, right? I think That's a long yeah, hair thing. And then, so it's kind of like a reverse of like Eric mm-hmm. being rescued by Grant. It's like Grant was there on the island. The kids get stranded, and then he's already there to be like, "I guess I need to help you guys get off the island." Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I would. We don't have that script, so or do we? Uh, we do not. I not hate this I wishy washy. I want the script. You know what? Everyone send me the scripts. I want to read them. I'm free right now. <laughs> I'm on vacation. Give me the scripts. Um, did, Jack, did you send? <laughs> that? Um, did you send that to Assis actually? I can do it right now. What's cool. going on here? I love I love this. I I'm in the block like the audience now. I don't know anything. This is awesome. It's like it's like a uh, birthday party. Let me just check I have the right one. So JP3. It's the Peter Peter Bookman Pan revisions by Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor. So none of the the other oh, what's that guy called? Who yeah, this wrote? one's in two thousand. So this is dated uh yeah, first of September, right? Where do you guys get all this shit from? Uh, Internet. Who's giving you this? Let me talk to them. Jack, Jack, you know, made us a, a secret uh, strip trade. Strip trade? Strip strip trade? Stri- there you go, Cease. You email me? Uh, it's in the chat. For various reasons, we obviously have to keep these... Um, yeah, these unfortunately, it's under not wraps, but ours. it would be... We have done everything in our power to get missing scripts up on Dress Calpers. There are a number of them on there right now, and obviously the infamous John Sales 2004 script is available to download yep. there, and I'm pretty sure that's the only place you can get it from um, currently. Um, so yeah, there, in the case of yeah, this we, JP3 we are script, to, to be clear, keep, Jack and I have both received it from two different people. Both have said don't share. However, the one person said you can talk about it, just don't share it. So that's where we're at with it, where we can talk about everything that's in it. We just can't post it. You know, yeah. if, if something's shared with us and we're asked not to talk about it, we don't talk about it. If we're asked, we said we could talk about it, we'll talk about it. If it's we're always said, been that and way if it, on Jurassic Outpost. Yeah, and if it's told always been that, that way. we can share it, we will share it. I mean, ideally, I would love to share these things for everybody, but it's just... It's not our call to make, you know. It, we want to get it. We we do want to get it up on Jurassic Park post at some yeah. point in time. I, well, I imagine um, somebody just, else has a version of the script or something, and I'm hoping in time we'll get somebody to be like, "Yeah, you can share it." So when that happens, wait, if anybody it? out there has any Jurassic Park four scripts that isn't the 2004 John Sale script, we'll trade you. We'll trade you a Jurassic Park three script. That, is that uh, real? Is that script real? Has. Which one? Yes, the one that Josh just sent. Yeah, the JP three one. Yeah, it's real. Holy shit. Enjoy, my boy. Yeah, so, <laughs> I don't even think Jack's read the entire thing. I haven't. What the fuck? Um, so this this podcast is off the rails. 
Yeah, it's off the rails, yeah, and you, we're at a you, good time. You invite me back, um, it's going to go off the rails, man. We're, we're, tangent, we're tangent groups. At least we're not but talking about tea. Let's, let's try read the... Let's all try read it, and maybe we'll do a pod and talk about the differences and, and talk about that. Maybe we could do that as the next episode. Yeah, yeah I think that, that like a real proper JP3 yeah. script talking about this... Uh, JP3 script. JP3 pod talking about JP3 this alternative version and then the stuff that uh stuck on sorna has been posting as well i think that, that would be a really cool episode a lot of it ti- yeah it ties in together it's the same era of like the jurassic park 3 script and stuff so it'd be very very good to go through that but this is a good place to wrap things up Assis, it was uh, wonderful to have you on again i can yes. see him on camera now he's just deep reading that <laughs> yeah <episode. laughs> i'm, I'm looking for the difference i can see the differences right off, right off the bat this is- yeah uh wait till you get to some <laughs> yeah. of the grant stuff um, I'm already. I'm at the at the Ellie Grant stuff already. It's oh, very... where he's like, I've always loved you, or whatever. Whoa! I didn't even get to that part yet. I'm not about the fucking Billy yeah. Byrne carrying <laughs> shit in the backpack. Um, and also like some cool things Guys. like Velociraptors hunting Styracosaurus. I, that would have been, been, been my entire scene. life. They definitely wrote. Oh, John August. He was the one that wrote. Was one of the five. Oh yes, I remember that name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the new, on the what was the final JP three script? Yeah. Uh, and I ran. I think I wrote to him years ago, and he said he had nothing different than what's out there. But any of these writers, I mean, I mean, you look at this. This script, not many people have, but it says Peter Bookman was the latest writer on it. Uh, worth getting in touch with him. Yeah, it might I be mean, worth. I mean, do I don't it. know what the rules are of like. Some people post their um scripts on their websites, but others don't, and I just don't know like what type of agreements they have. So it, that might be a great way to get it, or they might be like, "Yeah, man, I can't talk to you about that." Yeah, it, at the end of the day, like e- e- the movie, we're so far past that movie now that I know that um when I interviewed Shelley Johnson, he was very open, so very excellent interview. Very by open the way. in, in awesome. both the on the record and off the record ones. But he said he didn't have the script, but he was like, you know, now it's been so long since that movie that he feels like people are would be more willing, willing to, to share. So I guess it's something we just need to slowly go into. And obviously um Stuck on Sauna has been doing that exact thing. He's been getting in touch with storyboard artists and people that worked on the movie and they're sharing things with him because it's like, yeah, I mean, it's like 20 years old now. I should uh, so, I should reach out to Glenn. Um, I don't know what he might have as the animation uh, supervisor on JP3, but um, he might have things. You never know. Um, that is a really good place to end this pod. So Assis and Chris, thank you for joining. Um, guys, thank you for listening to the In General Podcast and we hope you've enjoyed the return of Assis um, he hopefully will be back on a couple more before he is then um he he's he's a busy boy so he won't be no i'm back forever now dude i'm back forever I, that's it it's forever it's for yeah. you heard it here first all right we'll yeah. see you in a year <laughs> 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 it's done um great to talk to you guys though and happy jurassic park 3 yeah i love yeah. you jurassic park 3 <laughs> good raptors i love you see you in a year jurassic park 3 uh-huh. I love Maybe you. um, do you know what? I'm actually drew a watch of Jurassic Park three, so I might VHS it. I've never seen it on VHS. Really? I might huh? do that. I guess I've never seen it on VHS either. either. DVD, yeah. No, it's all been DVD. Yeah, I've never, I've never even seen a VHS for JP three. If you have one, yeah, send yeah, it to John. I got it over there, so I'm gonna. I might, I might watch that. BC. That this I'd much rather watch it in 4K. Oh my JP3. god, Jack! No, the 4K JP three doesn't look good. No, dude, no, I have a fucking a idea, Jack. What's up? Hit me. This is this is an idea, Jack. I'm coming to BC. I'm coming to Vancouver in like a couple of weeks. I'll bring the fucking VHS. I'll bring a VHS player. You and I, we're doing a thing. Let's we'll live it. stream it. We'll do it. Let's hit it up. Oh, and I don't JP3. know if y'all saw, but uh, Canada's border is opening up sometime soon. So maybe we yes, can... Yes, it uh... is, Christopher. I thought they were distancing that. I thought Canada nope. were trying to open and then America were like, you know what? Fuck you. No, I think... <laughs> Why would it say I, fuck I, you I to think... us? <laughs> yeah, right. That's a uh, rich... Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's a rich we choice. Two Canadians um, here, boy. But I, I do think that there might be opportunities for us to do something in person. Is what I'm saying. I don't know. That'd be nice. There, there might be. Point, I mean, I'm five you, hours from Ryan. I mean, I live on the other side of the country. I don't really live close, so that's the. Un- that's your own problem, Chris, and you can figure that. Well, out. me and Assis <laughs> and Ryan will be. Assis, yeah, Assis will. I'm pick on the, me the up. west coast with these boys now. No, I don't yeah. live. I don't live there anymore, bro. No, nope, I, I live gonna, close to Jack now. We are west coast now. Yeah, we're all west coast dudes. I know. 
It's just you and Alex that need to kind of. At least you know, I, I don't live in. We need to transition away, over to the west. Ways, Alex. Alex is in the UK. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never come from there. No. No. Yuck. No, no. Yuck. No. <laughs> Guys, thank you for joining the podcast, and it was really great to speak to you again. See, it's been a long time. Yes. Uh, next time we will talk more about Jurassic Park Three. Of course. It would have rhymed if you said Jurassic Park Four. We will talk more. Jurassic Park Four. Anyways, um. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs>